We've heard heartbreaking stories this week. Countless ITT Tech students sharing their shock and panic when their campuses closed without warning. Now help is coming from both Hillsborough Community College and Washington lawmakers. Students have spent thousands of dollars on an education with no degree to show for it. Eight on your side reporter Melanie Michael has been all over this story. Mel, will these students have to start over hey, or will they have some sort of transfer? Hey, Jen, good evening to you. I tell you what, this is heartbreaking news because so many students, thousands of them, will have to start over, including a disabled veteran who we spent time with today. He had tears in his eyes but hope in his heart when he came here to HCC for help. Ronnie Weish is looking for answers, but first, he has a few questions for ITT Tech. How, how could you? And how dare you? And let's make right what you've done wrong. Ronnie was proud to have served his country. Now he's trying to survive his education. Just, you know, it's uh, busted dreams. I mean, I left a good job to go back to school to hire myself. You know, it's all about higher education, you know, to try to do better. I teach my kids that. As a disabled veteran, this Tampa Bay native and father of seven was crushed to hear that most likely his credits from ITT Tech will not transfer. Right now, Hillsborough Community College is trying to help students like Ronnie come up with options. Even if some of them don't end up being an HCC student, at least we can provide them options and explain to them what they may be in for. The Dean of Students admits the toughest part of all this, most students will be back at square one because the standards at ITC were lower. A lot of it will be um, starting over. Or some, I wouldn't doubt, are going to try to enter the workplace with the credits they have and, and see how far that takes them. If I can just get somewhere, you know, a, a school that we can trust and get done with my education, get back in the job market and be a, a productive citizen, that's all I want to do. And you know, Jen, I think that Ronnie put it best when he called it busted dreams. Eight on your side was there today when Ron Ronnie received the help that he needed from HCC. He met with a veterans representative and he met with advisors. So I think he's on the road to starting over, but it is going to be a long road indeed. And it's just heartbreaking to hear that after all that work. Now, we have heard that Congresswoman Kathy Castor is also stepping in at this point. Yeah, she was so moved and so affected by what was going on. She called the actions of ITT Tech fraudulent, and now she's asking the Department of Education to, to step in and offer any and all assistance that's needed for these students. So hopefully we're going to see some lives turned around. But as you mentioned, heartbreaking for them now and heartbreaking in the future after all that education. Absolutely. Melanie Michael, live for us tonight. Thanks, Mel.